What's up guys? Hey, thanks for joining Savage Actual. It's good to have you. Today's episode is going to be Call of Duty, the All Gillied Up mission. And uh, I'm sitting here waiting for Jason. I don't know where the hell he's at. Uh, as usual, typical Marine fashion, he's fucking late or God knows what he's doing. Kelso, have you seen friggin' Jason? I don't know where the hell he's at. I don't know, man, let me call him. Give him a call, because this is embarrassing as hell. The fuck? Yo, what's up, bro? Jason, where the fuck are you, man? We're waiting for you. We're, we're ready to roll. I'm right here, motherfucker. Where, fuck? <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> All right, what up? So, I went to sniper school in 2007 for the U.S. Marine Corps, Ra. Corpse. And, uh, Kelsey, you want to take this piece of shit? <laughs> And uh, this was actually the ghillie that I made in sniper school at uh, First Marine Sniper School in 2007. So uh, that was the year that Camp Pendleton actually fucking burnt down. We had a lot of bad <laughs> fires. So as you can tell, it's tan. And why is it fucking tan? Well, a everything was fucking a little bit of black. There, there was a little bit of black in and there. And lots of black. Uh, I actually had black paint on my face. Like, dude, it was there was no vegetation at all. So. Uh, it was a kick-ass course, the Marine Corps Scout Sniper School is one of the hardest sniper schools there is, truth. And it was quite the fucking experience. Uh, I ended up being the fastest ever caught in Scout Sniper School history on the <laughs> West Coast. Fastest ever caught? Fastest to get caught during the stalking, the first practice stalking. Uh, you know, the guy, the instructors were on a flatbed truck on a fucking five-ton, seven-ton, excuse me. And I, they had like, uh, they had Vipers, and I think it with a, with a magnifier, so I think it was 10 power. And I was like, dude, they're like 2K away or a fucking kilometer away. And I'm like, there's no fucking way they can see me. I'll veg up, because you want to start vegging, uh, putting vegetation on your ghillie suit to match your environment. So I was like, I'm going to be the first down here, and on the way, I'm going to veg up. So I want to get the first shot off. The first two minutes, I got <laughs> caught. And like, no shit. Uh, they're like who the like because there's walkers so the guys on the trucks the the observers with the binos looking for the students the instructors actual snipers uh are looking for these the students in the fucking field and there's walkers as we call them and they've got these fucking poles so the instructors guide the walkers they get like two or three attempts to find the student so they walk this walker via communication via radio to my position and they say closer, closer, whatever the fuck they say, but then they're like, pick at your feet. So when the instructor says, pick at your feet, that means, that means fucking, uh, the student is like right there at your fucking foot. So the dude stood on my fucking back like I was a surfboard, the instructor, <laughs> and over the radio, they're like, pick at your feet, and they're over the radio, they're like, like, yes. They're like, who the fuck is that? And they're like, like he kicks me, they don't know who it is, because I'm like fucking covered up. They're like, I'm like, it's Lily, and they're like, motherfucking lily and i like stood up and like get back re fucking set so it scared me so bad so like in my unit at that time like if you failed a fucking big school like that you're getting kicked out so i just i i'm a fucking new sniper i don't know what the fuck i'm doing i'm trying to be a sniper so it scared me so bad that i like reevaluated my whole purpose in life and like how are you gonna <laughs> fucking how i was gonna beat this course i ended up getting high stalker in the course i i maxed out nine out of ten or eight out of ten uh like so it's a, it's a 10 point scale. I got eight, that's right, eight fucking perfect scores. I was trying to beat the fucking record. So it went from the first in history to luckily fucking <laughs> getting high stalker. And it was, it's hide and seek, man. It's like being a yeah. fucking kid. It's, yeah. it's so goddamn fun. Uh, it, it was a great time, man. So I'm still friends with a lot of those guys and those instructors uh, were some of the best. Uh, so it, it was a good fucking time. Anyways. You want to leave your veil on or are you going to... I'm going to take this thing off, dude. <laughs> yeah. Little toasty? So really, uh, you're not really wearing it like this. So you're supposed to wear it like this, a little how-to. Um, so when I'm in the prone, and honestly, you want to shoot from the prone as much as you can, I would lay this over the fucking gun. So over the scope. So... We're sticking vegetation and all this stuff looking like a fucking bush. And there's five points, there's five V's as we call them. So there's a V here, there's a V here, there's a V's underneath yep. your armpits and a big V in between your legs. And those five V's as we call them is what's, what makes a man Stands stand out yep. from a distance. So you break up these V's, it's really easy to blend in. So that's what this whole purpose, the ghillie suit. And the word ghillie comes from Ireland. I think it's Scotland, excuse yep. me, Scotland. Uh, and it was, 
I don't remember the whole fucking story, but it's Gillies. They were like, yeah, they were. I think they were called Gillies. Something like that, and they were like, yeah, I'm not gonna get into because I don't look know into it. It's been a long but, fucking yeah, time. Yeah, Scottish. It's a Scottish, Scottish thing. Yeah. Basis as Scottish, yeah. So, this is mine, and this is the first time I put it on, probably since 2007. It smells like piss and sweat and fire. Jesus. There we go. So here, guys, Call of Duty All Gillied Up Mission. Mr. Price again. Too much radiation. I we'll have to go around. Too much radiation. I fucking love. <laughs> I know. Love this. Man. Oh, I'll do. That was cool. So I actually played this before I went to sniper school, obviously. Yeah. This came out a long time ago, so. Yeah. A lot of fun. Follow me and keep low. Careful. There's pockets of radiation all over this area. If you absorb too much, you're a dead man. Stand by. Contact. Enemy patrol dead ahead. Stay low and move slowly. Will be impossible to spot in our ghillie suits. We don't run. We patrol this idiot. Take one out when the other's not looking. A lot of, a lot of, like, the dude would never just pop out in the middle of the doorway, too. Like, pow, pow. Like, you instantly just, all that movement, your eye automatically gets drawn to all that movement. Yeah. So... Yeah, these guys would be much more, much more careful, for sure. He's down. Good night. Move. Good night. Good, good night. Take a nappy nap. So what, what's this other guy have? I can't remember. Uh -huh. He's got a long gun, too? Yep. So... You don't really operate like that in the uh, the dedicated sniper teams. So you have one guy on the long gun, and the other guy will be rocking an M4. It's more cover if we go around. A carbine, excuse me. Four tangos inside. Don't even think about it. Wait there. Yeah, and if you've got more guys, they'll have a dude with a saw, whatever. Yeah. And a team. It, yeah. I mean, a two man team. Good security. The other, guys, the, other, the other guy's got a fucking carbine. And that'll be your spotter. Tangle by the car. Take him out quietly, or just let him pass. Your call. Cool. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Go. The fuck I got? He just fired twice. He's like, I gotta reload already. Move up. It's like me. I do that all the time. <laughs> just gotta keep reloading. The games that is. Just there's a guy up in that tower, dude. I haven't played this in so long. Don't move. We've got a lookout in the church tower. I think my dog's dead, dude. I haven't heard this dude in a while. It's all right. His eyes are like half closed. He's just like. <laughs> On the patrol coming from the north. Let's move up for so a better view. Same private Ooh. Ryan. So where's the yeah? Where's the dude that's like calling out the yeah, intel here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This guy's moving oh, along like this. Does, does he have another dude behind him that's like? That calling guy? out the positions. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> You're right. Like, like an Overwatch. Yeah, yeah. Cause how? Uh, like he's. Oh, that's he's, a fucking EMR. That's a uh, 14. Area clear. Point your weapon at your uh, buddy again. So, that's what it was. It was kind of an Overwatch. They're sort of bounding Overwatch. They got. <laughs> well, the, it, they're working as a team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the the guy you were hearing before was the McMillan dude, and that's the guy that just came up. Coast is clear. See, so they're kind of like supporting. God, dude, you hear those crosses, man. Oh, here comes my favorite part. <laughs> I remember this. Enemy helicopter. For back in the day, the graphics are still pretty dope on our For sure, what is this, 2010? 
older than that? Uh, I don't know. It's a long time ago. There's a Hein. This is a, well, it's it's an older game. This might be even older than 2010. Because you were saying you played it before Sniper School, and that was 2007. You're right. So I went through Sniper School in 07. <laughs> See? Look at this guy. He's got my back. Kelso, Google all gillied up like what year that came out. It might be 06. Oh, jeez. So every dude in sniper school is like, hey, man, let's get back to the uh, the room tonight and play some all gillied up. Oh, God, I love that. You no, know, so honestly, good. dude, I don't think <laughs> any of us really played any. Just slept? To it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that school was no joke, man. For sure. Mad sleep deprivation. Yeah. There's too many of them. Let them go. How long is that? How long is the course? Two months? Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. I think it was 10 weeks. Keep a low profile and hold your fire. Try to anticipate their paths. So this is kind of cool. This is kind of like that classic Carlos Hathcock thing where you got to go through that big, huge open area, you know? <laughs> Dude's like... Doesn't see you moving at all. Yeah, he, yeah, he's you're like, like this. Yeah, he's panning around. <laughs> It was like I literally fucking laid there, like didn't move at all. Like my thumbs didn't want to move. I was like, dude, I'm holding my fucking breath. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, then, I guess like. But I mean, I know they have to do it to be able to see the guy. You know what I'm saying? I know it's just for visual effect. But it is funny. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> damn, that ground squirrel's got a big dick. <laughs> I love the ski mask, dude. It's Look very, it's very freaking like uh, Eastern Bloc. Eastern Bloc. So, BMP? Yep. Yep, BMPs. Okay. <laughs> These Let's dudes are just like, nice. keep moving. But that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to like, do the whole Carlos Hathcock thing, go across that big, long, open area, you know, in the midst of the enemy. What's the, in that book's uh, white? Is that what's the name of that book? White feather? Or no, it's one shot, one kill. It is one shot, one kill. So if you guys want to read an amazing freaking sniper bio, Carlos Hathcock. It's about his time in Vietnam. The dude's uh, a literally a legend. Definitely give that a read. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm even gonna throw the link for the book in our uh, underneath this Definitely. video. I read that book before I joined the Marine Corps. I think, I think every kid did. I read uh, that in First Recon, Second and None. Yep, read that too. Did you? Yes. Yeah, I probably have the paperback freaking in my storage stuff. It's so weird, man. I never, I've never thrown any of those things away. Follow me. I haven't read a book since 1998. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just kidding. Looks like they've already eliminated the men they couldn't buy out. Let's move up for a better view. Taking them out without alerting the rest isn't going to be easy. But then again, neither is sneaking past them. Your goal. These dudes are like... <laughs> it, it is funny though how they're like... <laughs> Just moving amongst everybody. Like, oh, if you're crawling in the in the ankle high brush, no one will see you. So sniper school is a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed Hold it. Them. Don't fire on the two by the lorry. We'll have to take them out at the same time. By the lorry. He did say lorry, didn't he? Yeah, that's such a Brit thing. Don't fire on the sounds, two by the lorry. He sounds Irish or Scottish. I don't know what he's supposed to be. It sound to me it sounds Scottish, but who knows what it is. Wait for me to get into position. What are they doing? Are they bodies? I say that like throwing bodies in the water. Yep. Well, there you go. That's a good way to cover them up. I guess. I'm in position. Take the shot when you're ready. How about both of you shoot? One's in a gas mask, one's not. What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> one can't stand the smell and the other one didn't yeah, care. one's a bitch. Good night. Move up. Stay in the shadows. I, 
I want my own fucking hey, shipping container. Fuck. Yeah, I did too. <laughs> on, on a land on, in back home in Kansas. Yeah. 100% there. Hey, like, bury it. He's oh. fine. Dude. Yeah. He's like, oh. Dude, when we oh, build that shit. Huh. Bunker. Uh, yeah. No, Underground. Not. Oh, for sure. Dude, it'll, it'd be cool to have like it'll be a bar. three, four come up. Oh, man. Let's not get off on that tangent. It's a long story, guys. We've got some big things in the works. Yeah, now you got people salivating. Go yeah, dude, that's that's it. That's a Scottish accent, completely. Yeah. Unless some Irish person's gonna be like, I digress. The dude from Shannon is gonna be like, listen, you morons. Melon, shut the fuck up, man. You're in my <laughs> ear. I can't hear what's around me. Double shot. Bam. Oh, oh, that was awesome. That was a good, that was a good shot. I like that effect. And I like the little freaking little pink spray. Little pink mist. Yep. He didn't see it? Oh, this guy didn't died. see it at all? He, Is he asleep? What the fuck's going on? Is he sleeping? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, he had a late night last night at the bar. Jeez. In Oceanside. He was hogging last night with his other <laughs> Lance Corporals. Typical, typical uh, army fashion. Yeah, for sure. That's <laughs> a bloody convention out there. Get ready to move on my signal. Stay right behind me. Sound is covered with the helo. Yeah. Dude, fuck move around in the day. Yeah, these dude. dudes are just, yeah. God damn. And that's another thing. So realistically, guys, there'd be, this kind of stuff would be, I mean, obviously not a thing. Like. Well, that's cool. Dude, I never once ever overseas wore a fucking ghillie suit. Really? Not, not once. No. Even like like tr you didn't take it. You guys didn't take it for I, training. I brought it with me. Did I bring yeah. it with me? I might have brought this to Afghanistan. I think I did actually. I didn't use it. I remember seeing something one time, and this is actually interesting. I think they talked about it in the book Bravo to Zero. The guy, one of the guys, was a was a sniper, and he had created a veil that was material. They sprayed glue on it, put glue on it, and then covered it in like a light thing of sand, yep. and just made it in like put a little, little bit of stuff, and they would use it as like the same thing. A, a veil. I was like, that's super cool. It's pretty interesting. There's another good book, Bravo to Zero. It's about British SAS. Yep. And uh, Gulf War. And how want. piss poor their planning was. Don't do anything stupid. They literally talk about how, how they're not the best planners in the world. I'm sure that's changed a lot, though. Oh, yeah. Stand by. Stand by. Go. Could, those guys could have been that group that time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> like I got a friend of mine, I won't name his name, but he talks shit on the Rangers like all the time. He's like, those dudes never seen any combat. Because he was a drone pilot overseas. And I'm like, what the fuck? Dude, every yeah, ranger. what is he talking about? Every ranger friend of mine is murking dudes, yeah. bro. Yeah, seriously. Every single ranger friend of mine like has equal fucking combat stories as I do. Yeah. Like, they got some. Old fast. Let's keep moving. Let's wait. I don't know where that, yeah, where that guy was getting that shit from. He, he was there. 
doing drone coverage for whomever, and he said that they just weren't, weren't they weren't leaving the wire. It might have been potentially that unit at that time, the ROEs then. Yeah, I mean, you, but every Ranger fucking unit I know like whacked. Things. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it could have been a hundred percent that specific time and place. You don't that know what's commander, going on. There could have been some right. political drama in the area, like, which is super uh, common. Yeah. There's like this misconception that like marine grunts are equal than or better than fucking rangers, and it's not the fucking yeah, case. Yeah, it's not the it's case. Not. I was a grunt in the Marine Corps. I'm telling you, it's not the fucking same. Very proud, of 311, but it's not the same. It's just a different. It's just a different Stop. type of environment. That's all. all. You know? It's a wild dog. Oop. We smoked a lot of dogs yeah. over there. Fuck yes. Get it, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> He's probably got a human head in his mouth. <laughs> yeah. Pooch doesn't look too friendly. Keep your distance. No need to attract unnecessary attention. Yeah, like these dudes are like 50 feet from this dog. Like they're not gonna. He's not gonna see him. Like shit. Yeah, shit. Look at this. Just running around him like. And he is eating a person, isn't he? Yeah. Right. Cool. Cool. Now, if we're getting into a uh, very Tarkov-esque here. Yeah, I would love <laughs> to own a whole little town like this. <laughs> a little oh, Eastern European shithole. Dude, you just have fucking airsoft, paintball, hide and seek <laughs> for adults. <laughs> for God, adults? Damn, it would be fun. Or you could build something like that out in <laughs> Vegas. You know? <laughs> Uh, are they, this, this are supposed they, to be Chernobyl. I was gonna say, are they in Chernobyl? I don't, I don't think that's what they're referring to, is it? Yeah, it is. It Shut is. up, it really? Is. Yep. I remember. Is that what the deal is with the bodies being tossed in the water? Like, yeah, the gas mask, and I think you get into some radiation in this one. <laughs> well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Not. We've, we've had that discussion about mop suits and mop gear before, like, right. fucking no bueno. That's not fun. Game designers, man, this is a pretty bitch of map. I mean, and again, for 2007, like a lot of detail. Pretty, pretty damn good. It's big. Dude, this fucking thing is making me sneeze. There's the hotel. We should be able to observe the exchange from the top floor up there. Let's move. <laughs> like, you're like, uh. All right. Is that it? Yeah, that was cool. All right. What'd you think? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I think. Get black rifle, dude. He's like, he's like, I got <coughs> plant spores in my shit. Uh, <laughs> dude, fucking classic video game. Uh, I think they did a pretty good job, you know, encapsulating fucking snipers moving. So, uh, yeah, it was pretty good. I mean, it's a classic. I love the mission. I'd like to play it right now. So, and, and I know we're gonna probably get these questions. So let's let's uh, preempt this. What would your suggestion be? for some future soldier, future Marine that wants to go to their services sniper prospective school. sniper school, yep. Start fucking with guns now. Uh, sometimes it's, just, it's a disservice, but I've been shooting yep. guns since I was a kid. And sometimes you build bad habits, uh, yep. shooting habits from that. Uh, 
but the familiarization, I, dude, I used to literally lay in the backyard in like three feet of snow in Kansas, in the city limits. Long story, I got arrested for this when I was like 11. Uh, excuse me, I didn't get arrested. I had to get a job to pay off the window that I shot out in my backyard. With a gun? With my neighbor. I missed a bird and blew out their fucking window. Was it a BB gun or like a 22? It was a BB gun. Okay. Yeah, it was a BB gun. But right next to the fucking entry point to the back sliding glass door of their house was their baby swing that they had in the sun. True oh, story. I would have fucking murdered you. Yeah, the neighbors knew. <laughs> the police not calling them. I'm just going to go over there and stop Dude, your Dude, but I, I laid back there in this backyard. I put leaves. I pretended I was, in, <laughs> I was in fucking Stalingrad. I would lay in the snow for hours just pretending. So, like, this mindset starts fucking young if this is something you want to do. Get a BB gun. If you're out in the country, just walk around out in the woods. Like, be comfortable being alone and thinking yeah. decision making processes by yourself uh, especially on the sniper side so and any special operations unit really so yeah for sure i was always outside you know with friends and always outside by myself so that was a lucky thing about growing up in kansas so uh yeah <laughs> there's no people there so it's cool yeah uh attention to detail is big um you can practice kim's games you can practice, practice that. Google, some of that we'll, we'll, so we'll attach a link to what a Kim's game is. It's something you can practice by yep. yourself. like that so the want has got to be there the fascination has got to be there I think from a young age so yeah so good information guys I hope you guys enjoyed this episode Call of Duty great series they just continue to to get uh, better and better they're especially they're you know the n not necessarily the multiplayer stuff but that you know storyline storyline stuff is great so hey thanks for watching Savage Actual make sure you guys check out our socials Instagram, Facebook, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe and check out some of our older stuff. We appreciate uh, all of our fans, and uh, thanks for watching. Yep, see you guys. Appreciate it.